I'm Dr. Tim Short. I'm a practicing surgical podiatrist from Ochsner Health in New Orleans. Today, I'd like to discuss a new solution for offloading plantar pathologies. As foot and ankle specialists, we see many patients with plantar pathologies in our practice. These can include symptomatic skin conditions and lesions, such as painful hyperkeratoses, verrucous lesions, poor keratosis, to name a few. In addition, plantar musculoskeletal pathology commonly presents as well, such as capsulitis, sesamoiditis, and bursitis. These are all causing pain and more severe foot problems, only discouraging our patients from an active lifestyle. As we know, plantar foot pain can occur in the forefoot, midfoot, and rear foot regions, and cause, causes can range from dermatological, musculoskeletal, or even neurological sources. Along with the typical treatments for plantar pathologies, including debridement, topical and oral medications, as well as shoe gear changes, we typically treat these patients with offloading pads and over-the-counter devices, which frequently demand our time-consuming adjustments and modifications. In the past, we've all spent our critical clinical time hand-fashioning, accommodative, and offloading insoles, pads, and other devices to effectively reduce pressure and friction on targeted plantar pathologies. Sometimes we literally carve out and cut the bottom of an existing shoe insole or over-the-counter orthotic to adequately offload sensitive and painful areas to reduce friction, even potentially preventing ulceration when considering our neuropathic and diabetic populations. Ultimately, these homemade insoles are very time-consuming to fabricate, often cosmetic, cosmetically displeasing, and function with limited effectiveness and longevity. Unfortunately, this only leads to more time consumption with arts and crafts and less clinical time and profitability. This specialty-wide dilemma we all face has inspired a new treatment alternative that is helping me care for my patients with plantar pathologies more successfully and more efficiently. It uses the proven removable peg offloading insole design that most of us are familiar with from its use in wound care. However, these new insoles are comfortably designed for the simple use in your patient's everyday shoe gear. As you see daily as I do, patients are much more compliant with offloading modalities that allow them to wear their regular shoes. Also, these are especially helpful for those who are not compliant with other treatment options, such as post-operative shoes, orthopedic boots, or even total contact casting. Again, offloading pads can be bulky, time-consuming to make, and difficult for patients to reproduce on their own. Along with myself and other specialists in favor of this effective technology, the Pettifix Foot Care Company is now introducing the new pressure off customizable offloading insole to podiatrists and other specialists around the country to help them relieve patients' common plantar pathologies and even more complex issues such as diabetic hotspots, ulcers, and ulcerations in remission to prevent exacerbation and recurrence. I truly believe these insoles will help save many patients from pain and suffering caused by plantar conditions and play a critical role in the salvation of both limb and life among our diabetic patient population. Pressure off insoles will soon be available in various thicknesses and material combinations well suited to differing patient needs. Overall, they are an effective, economical, and easy solution to common plantar pathologies. As Dr. McGuire researched and often emphasized, any offloading is helpful and these new insoles make it easy to help my patients relieve a variety of plantar conditions. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Tim Short, proud to have helped develop this new treatment option. Now to address some frequently asked questions. How thick are pressure off insoles? They are currently available in three thicknesses, ranging from six millimeters to nine millimeters, and that's about a quarter of an inch to three eighths inch thick. How much can they offload? The removable pegs which create the offloading effect range from three millimeters to six millimeters. Keeping in mind, even one millimeter of offloading is helpful to patients. Are pressure off insoles sold singly or in pairs? They're sold as singles, as many plantar pathologies are not bilateral. And we didn't, from a patient cost standpoint, didn't want patients to have to purchase a pair if they only need one. How will these fit into shoes? At less than three eighths inch thickness, they don't take up much space. We typically remove the original shoe insole to make additional room like we do with most orthotics. And many patients who need these often wear accommodative and added depth shoes. Thinner styles of pressure off insoles are designed specifically to fit in ordinary footwear. What is the lifespan of the pressure off insole? That depends on patient's weight, activity, and so forth. By their nature, the cushioning materials to make them, namely poron, plastizote, and EV foams, will compress over time. Most patients get several months or longer usage, at which point they should be replaced. What sizes and widths are available? There are currently three trim to fit sizes, currently up to men's size 15, 
Both regular and wide widths are available and all are scissor trimmed to the patient's precise size and width. How can patients get pressure off insoles? Currently, they're only available from foot specialists. Non-dispensing practices can enable patient direct ordering via Pedifix on a doctor's recommendation. The goal is to have over-the-counter versions available for patients to purchase through the Pedifix retail network in the future. The goal also is to make them widely available to as many people as possible to help relieve unnecessary pain and suffering and help people with diabetes prevent hot spots and ulcerations. How much do pressure off insoles cost? The physician price currently is $14 each. The suggested price to patients is $30. Some clinicians obviously will charge less and others perhaps more. And finally, what's been the response from your colleagues? The concept has been very well received by both colleagues and patients. The idea of a device that can easily be accommodated in a regular shoe while still providing offloading measures, I believe will be a game changer.